I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Fusion 360 interface. I'm going to not spend much time explaining each one of the items in the interface because I'm going to do that when you're actually building the project and having to use these different features. So I'm going to quickly go through to show you, give you the names, summary of what they do, but I'll give you in detail what it does when we're doing it and we're building our fast car. Here is our actual fast car. I'm going to start with the data panel. Data panel is up here. See in the top left hand side, when you click on that, you get this entire window that appears or menu that appears. And in essence, you get to see uh, the final of all the different parts that, can, that I used in building, saving this actual fast car. What is it? It's a sum, it is the actual projects you're working on. You can organize the projects you're working on in the data panel. Um, and as I'm saving, I'm seeing different versions. So it's just the project in time um, as you're developing it, and you can organize it, organize all your many different projects as well. Um, after I show you the data panel, so I'm going to close the data panel. I'd like to show you the main, man, main menu. So main menu is, as we're coming across here, data panel, we have a file menu, which is where you go ahead and save or call up new designs. You have save, you have undo, and this is if uh, uh, you can either do control Z undo um, or uh, redo, uh, but these come in really useful. I'm going to click off um, as things go wrong in your project. Don't forget that they are there. Uh, I'm going to continue on to also up here on our main menu is this main tab is it'll give us the name of the project that you're actually working on in addition to you're going to learn most of these different tools depending upon what you need um, so all these buttons not only are fast uh, buttons to uh, different tools but realize you have a whole uh, uh, range of different tools at your fingertips in the drop down Usually just the ones you use in the most appear up here in the, uh, uh, where the icons are. Um, here you can uh, close a project or I'm going to click on this. You can go ahead and open a project and have a brand new canvas uh, by clicking on new design. I'm going to come back into my data file. I'm going to go completed fast car so you can see how I open it right back up again. I'm going to close my data file and this is how I get back into it again and that saved project on my data file. Let me go ahead and show you as long as I'm coming along. Right here's my cube. I'm going to show you how to go ahead and adjust or um, take different views or zoom in and one of the ways you do it is right here on the cube itself and I'll show you all this as we're actually working on the car itself. Uh, let me show off a little bit and let me get us back to where we are. There we go. Okay. Also very useful. See this browser over here? The browser is going to uh, be able to have you call up all the different aspects, components, features, bodies of different parts of the car as you're creating it. Um, and right now when you start off there'll be nothing and as your project comes forward you're going to have all these different components that make up your car and that you can go directly into in order to edit. Um, it, it becomes a really useful feature uh, as you're developing your project. Down here on the bottom we have uh, you know, I should show here is additional navigation tools. Uh, uh, you'll get to know these same where you can either use your keypad or you can go ahead and use these speed buttons here as well. Um, uh, what else here am I going to show you? Oh, down here. See this right here? This is your timeline. And here's the entire timeline for the creation of this car right here extremely useful you're going to find in that it allows you if you want to go ahead and uh, 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 work on a specific part of the car uh, you can just go to the place in time that you created it uh, and click on it and then do a drop down I'm going to do right click and then make an edit or if you don't like it to delete it so you're going to find this timeline is extremely beneficial as well 
Also in here, I should point out, is this workspace uh, that you'll be working on is called the Canvas. And as of that, I think I've hit uh, every major component of this interface that you'll be interacting with. Again, uh, I will go into, you will uh, uh, be working uh, and getting a lot of understanding or knowledge of it as you're working with it. Right now, I'm just presenting what they're called and a brief summary as to what they are. Uh, but as we build the project, that's where you're really going to get to know all these different uh, features in the interface. Uh, so let's start creating our project.